Welcome back, I'm Tammy Rose in Sky 13. We have a multi-vehicle accident on the 610 West Loop. Five cars involved, one just left moments ago. This is southbound as you head towards 59, the Southwest Freeway. Those backups are gonna begin along the Katy Freeway. If you can get off before then, maybe use Chimney Rock. Looks like we have another police officer and flashing lights heading to that scene. So again, make sure you give them plenty of room. Meanwhile, your backup is gonna be either the Feeder Road or Chimney Rock. Rita Seneca. All right, Peter Roder, Chimney Rock. Got it, Tammy. Thank you. One more look at your top stories here as we end the hour. Investigators still have a lot of questions about a late night shooting that left two teenagers dead in the Cypress area. ABC 13's Charlie Etsy is live there along Log Cradle Drive. And Charlie, what do we know this morning? Good morning, Samika. Well, we know, according to investigators, one of those teens who ended up getting shot in his chest was behind the wheel of a vehicle at the time when it happened. You can see these tire marks here coming dangerously close to hitting the front of this home. And so according to investigators, sadly, that teenager, possibly as young as 16 years old, did not survive his injuries. And this all happened around 9 o'clock last night in the middle of this neighborhood. Now, neighbors called HCSO and deputies say that when they arrived here on scene, they also also found the body of a second teenager just a few feet away. That person estimated between 16 and 17 as well. Now inside the crashed out SUV, according to detectives, were guns and narcotics, leading investigators to look into whether this was a drug deal gone bad. Now, sadly, it's believed that the teen who was behind the wheel of this SUV, they do think that he may live in this area, which is why it all happened in the middle of this neighborhood. Charlie at City, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Looking at your day ahead this morning, a Houston man charged with killing a pregnant woman last Easter is due in court. Police say Derek Small opened fire into a car on Richmond, killing 22-year-old Brianna Navarro and her unborn child. Before the shooting, police say Small got into an argument with Navarro's boyfriend at a store. Meantime, jury instructions and closing arguments are scheduled to begin today in the trial of Kim Potter. The former Minnesota police officer maintains that she meant to pull her taser, not her gun, when she shot and killed Dante right during a traffic stop in April. And also, we're going to be watching what Congress does next after Senator Joe Manchin pulled his support from Biden's Build Back Better plan, saying that the $2 trillion package would exacerbate inflation. Congress has recessed for the holidays, but some lawmakers are still demanding a vote. All right, 656 now. Now to a homecoming just in time for Christmas. It's really sweet. Yes, Alex Sandoval is in the Navy and has not seen his family in nearly a year. So look at them go. He Aww. dressed as Santa to surprise his daughter at school. Oh, you've got to see it. Mm. Dad! Oh, that's okay. going to make me cry. That is precious. Oh. oh, a memory to last forever. Look at that. It was also Penelope's ninth birthday. Oh, that's so yeah, sweet. I'm sure. Oh, oh, wow. That's great. That was really sweet. Okay. Well, let's check in with Alita. I know. After she gets really? herself together. I know. Really? Oh, I know. man. That's the best. Girl dads. Oh. Yeah. Nothing like girl 100%. dad. Both these girls, man. <laughs> They're all about being a girl dad. All right, weather-wise for today, we got some cooler weather this morning. No problems visibility-wise, but still some damp roads. The rain is shifting eastward, so we are going to see a drying trend. The clouds are going to be lingering behind for the good part of the morning. It won't be into the afternoon where we start to see those clouds thinning out and then some sunshine. Temperatures today will warm somewhere in the mid to upper 50s, below normal. A couple of nice cool days and then get ready. We're in for another warm up, oh, another record breaking temperatures for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Guess so, what? Rita has our gift. Demales. What? Yes, tomorrow. I yes, I do. <laughs> yes, you're gonna have to come back for it tomorrow. <laughs>